energy sector has a phenomenal role um, uh, in terms of sustainable development. On one hand, uh, energy uh, is needed for um, running the economy in an efficient and an effective manner, given that particularly in Asia Pacific, we are a region with large energy deficit, but also its lifeline of household. Uh, it is the lifeline for the industry, its lifeline uh, for water supply um, availability. So it cuts across virtually all the sustainable development goals. The major sources of greenhouse gas emission are, is from the energy sector mainly from the burning of fossil fuels, coal, natural gas, and oil, of course. So if we have to address uh, mitigating uh, emissions, then we really have to focus on the energy sector. Everything is in limitation, so you have to be very wise in using the energy. Everybody, it's not only the government, but also the private sector, but also the civil society, it has to be the consensus that to fulfill the energy needs for the people in an electrified area has to be everybody's responsibility. <laughs> what we've been doing is to follow the public private partnership approach in you know in delivering the energy service at the you know, last mile, you know, people. So, public-private partnership approach. Uh, private sectors needs support from the government, right? Um, creating, uh, you need to create an enabling environment for private sector to invest in. The for any development projects that we do, we look at from the perspective of community development because in the perspective of community development, you look at the different processes and dimensions that these are being done by the locals and also the stakeholders in general. So one, we make it a point that when we access energy and we scale up this energy usage, we are actually mobilizing the community. With the Asia Pacific Energy Portal, we are working to improve access to the information that policymakers need. With data and policy information, as well as infrastructure, we are enabling users to better understand the energy context within Asia and Pacific, and therefore make better decisions that can push us to a more sustainable energy future. We're combining data, policy and infrastructure information in an interactive and intuitive interface that reaches a broader audience within our region. They cannot grow independently. They have to grow interdependently. So they need more collaboration and they need to help each other to, to share the same growth of the growing in a sustainable manner. The connectivity may be in terms of the Highlight the electric uh, electric transmission lines, so that means they can generate the power thread and also uh, can produce more uh, international relationship and economic partnership in the future together. And ASCAP uh, uh, set up the uh, com the committee on energy, which is already at the member states' request, which will meet 
the demand from the member states to provide the support for the member states. And we hope through the Committee on Energy, we will develop a joint uh, development plan for uh, sustainable energy development in Asia. At the same time, uh, we will get the more advice and the guidance from our member countries for regional cooperation in Asia and Pacific for sustainable energy to achieve the sustainable development goals.